Hello everyone, let's get started. So today we're, or I'm trying to talk about the topic which has been highly debated in various area on our social platforms, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Can the price of XRP really go up to $589 or higher? I was always a believer it can go there. I didn't know how though exactly. I had some ideas regarding regulation, my super highway and everything theory, but I came across a comment on a video on YouTube yesterday and that guy who gave that comment, Shane Ellis, kudos to you, thanks a lot. He basically explained it in a pretty simple manner that not that much is actually needed to go up to such a high price. And basically what we're talking about is liquidity. For an exchange to process a transaction the price of XRP is not relevant because they will get the same amount of money from the bank, let's say a million. If an XRP has a value of 500,000, they will sell or buy two XRP. If XRP has only a value of a thousand, they will buy a thousand XRP. When we talk about liquidity for the exchange, then we are talking about XRP liquidity. So the preferred XRAPID exchange partners from Ripple, they kind of have to guarantee that all transactions coming in via XRAPID can be transformed. And I try to explain that in a pretty simple example. Let's say an exchange has a hundred XRP and there comes a transaction about a hundred dollars. If the XRP price is one dollar, the XRP are gone after the transaction. If there comes another, a second transaction about $100, there is no more XRP. How can the exchange then guarantee that the second transaction can be processed? Now, let's assume the price of XRP is $2. So for the first transaction, only 50 XRP are needed. Hence, the exchange can process two immediate consecutive transactions in the value of for each of a hundred dollars. But now we know or we kind of assume that banks do way more transactions than just two per day or so. Let's say there come a hundred dollar, a hundred, a hundred dollar transactions. So if now one XRP has a value of a hundred dollar, one XRP for per one transaction is actually enough and the exchange stays liquid until the last transaction of this hundred hundred dollar transaction has been processed. Shane Ellis basically explains it pretty well. Please take a look at the link in the description of this video I have provided. Basically he explained it on the example of Bitrex. On the bottom you can see the order book 
for uh, XRP and uh, US dollar and an order book has a bid and an ask kind of table and in his example basically what we could do I can switch the pages so now you see the low the low prices ask prices and the the further down we go in the book the higher the prices get the people want for their XRP, XRP. and that goes basically up to in this case a thousand dollar in the example he mentioned it was basically five hundred dollars and he said the total volume of each ask order also amount times asked price and then all of these summarized would be about less than four million so with a single four million transaction request the ask order book would be depleted totally and because the last ask price in this example it would be around thousand dollar or fifteen hundred so XRP would already be with one transaction of roughly four million would go up to fifteen hundred and the comments uh, in under the link you find the first comment from Shane Ellis you can find uh, further further explanation how that works how they keep the price stable at such a high price the exchanges will basically or roughly spoken or speaking build buy and sell walls in the millions of dollars so if you want to basically sell your your XRP you have to go below those prices in order to be able to sell which is actually good for them to to get the uh, liquid again and one question popped up in the whole thread about what's going to happen when the exchange is kind of running out of XRP because there is no more people like me trying to sell for 500 bucks per XRP well what do you do what did we learn increase the price and then you are liquid again so they may increase the price to a thousand dollars and there will flock in new new people like you and me who may want to want to sell and the guy said we have no literally no idea how high the price could eventually go maybe not this year but next year Brad Garlinghouse kind of promised literally dozens In my understanding more than 36 banks will start using XRP with that I wish you a nice evening and I'm going to have some nice dinner with my wife now